the city, no house, no friends. I'm psyched. It is a show about a family, the Walsh family, two twins that move into Beverly Hills, and it's them adjusting to the different lifestyles, to the different people, the people that they come across and that they meet, and how they now change their lives for the lifestyle that they're living, or how they don't change their lives. Brandon, coming from the Midwest, and coming from the Minneapolis, St. Paul area, uh, which is relatively a small town, he's very, he's very grounded, he's very together, and he has a good sense of morals and a good sense of values and a good sense of self. He's really, he's really in touch with himself and, and knows who he is. I don't really look at, 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 at myself as being the this, this star of this show. I mean, we have, we have a great ensemble cast. I guess that a lot of the, the spotlight falls on Shannon and myself. Brenda is, she's going through a really hard time right now because she wants to be accepted into this high school and into the Beverly Hills lifestyle. And I don't really think she knows who she is right now. She's changing herself for all these people and trying to be something that she's not. You got a nose job. Yeah, I did. It looks it looks good. Big improvement, huh? Well, yeah, they took about a foot off. Now I know why I broke up with you. She's the girl you want to watch to see what she's wearing, to see how her hair is done. I mean, that sounds awful, but I mean, people are going to look at her that way, but you have to know that there's a whole other side to her. And I find that very interesting that she's playing like the typical Beverly Hills, and I'm playing this Beverly Hills, you know, richest kid in school, all that, and we both come from the farm. Yeah. Yeah. My first yeah. car was a lawnmower, actually. I think that there's a little bit of Kelly or Dylan in everybody. I mean, even if you grew up on a farm or not, there's always that fantasy, gee, maybe I could have a BMW someday. Mm -hmm. I know I thought about it when I was on the farm. I just don't believe in winning through intimidation. Unless, of course, I'm doing the intimidating. Luke is a sexual demon. Uh, Are you a sexual demon? Come on over here, sweetheart. Not as far as Jay is concerned. And Luke has all the subtlety of a sledgehammer. And we like that, and I'm not. She's I'm good. Not subtle. She's good. I'm not, not a stitch. It's not really my strong point, subtlety, is it? But that's why Jay and I make such a good team, because he has a subtlety. I mean, he's like a feather. He's very light. He's very subtle. You know, between his subtlety and his my hair, animal magnetism, and my Elvis his hair. The hair. He's got you know? the hair. I don't hate. Who's saying no to that? I don't know what I'm gonna do without you guys. The risk of sounding mushy. You Walsh people are the only family I got. It's not a high school show at all. It may take place in the high school at certain times, but it's basically most of it's out of the high school and we're dealing with real situations. We're dealing with a lot of controversial issues, which is wonderful. This is not a TV show. We're not a sitcom or we're not the normal one hour drama show. We are more like a film. I mean, we're touching on a lot of, a lot of issues that uh, I think are very relevant. And I think we're doing them in a way that it's not preachy. It doesn't knock you over the head. It's, it's, it's very subtle. And, and we really kind of just present the case the way that it is. My big fear about doing, uh, about doing a television show is that it's going to be some stupid, schlocky kind of thing. We're all like all the teenagers are like D students. I'm really proud about it. Right, right. You know, in this instance, we've been very lucky that we had an intelligent group of writers and producers. And they're, they're, they're trying to make some, some quality statements here.